Right, my name is Yeshua Hill, and I studied biology, geography, and environmental science, in addition to Caribbean studies and communication studies. So from here, I'm actually currently at UEK Hill, um, doing law, bachelor's in law, um, with the hope to do international law, public international law, etc. What got you interested in this field of study? In the biology, environmental science, geography, or the law? In the law. Oh, um, for law, well, in addition to watching TV shows like Suits, um, I realized that there was a need for diplomacy in Barbados to strengthen relationships, um, especially during Caribbean studies, you would have seen how important it is for regional integration to occur, but also for voices from the Caribbean to speak on the global stage, as you see um, the Honorable Miyamura Motley do at um, the COP27 summits, etc., etc. So from our generation, we know, need more people to speak out so that our voices are heard and our stories are heard so that not only does the region become tighter, but we can enlarge ourselves on a global scale. And how does it feel to be a recipient of this award? Well, it's a very exciting and fulfilling feeling. Um, from since first form, I didn't tell anybody, but from since first form, I knew I wanted this. I knew I wanted to, at Harrison College, there are plaques um, in the hall with people's names on it. I knew I wanted to see my name up there. And from since first form, I was working toward it. And it's very fulfilling to see that um, dream come true. And I know that there'll be future Harrisonians seeing my name up there. And just to think about it from time to time, it will bring excitement and joy. Well, first of all, I would just like to thank God because I know I would not have been able to do it without him. Because times during studying, you know, it seems so overwhelming, but he's just there to comfort you and, and carry you through because you put in the effort, but he, he really carries you through. And then I would like to thank my parents for nagging me and making sure that I'm on top of my studying and, and taking rest when needed too, um, because often... Our, as students, we tend to push ourselves to our limits, but we forget that we need rest. But they were there to remind me that I need to rest. And then the teachers, who I nagged often as well, I would message them. Um, since we went online, we will be able to message them on WhatsApp or email them. I will message them anytime I had a, a question that was nagging me or whatever, and they were there to clarify. And also my friends, who were there to... We were able to vent to each other and support each other in that um, stressful period. Um, and we will even ask each other questions, debate topics, etc., etc. So, all of those people combined, they, they really help. You were head boy at school? Yes, please. Did I was. You have to oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was head boy at Heisen College. Um, yeah, with that, there, there was pressure to, to uh, get the national award. But at the same time, with that pressure, there were people who were there to make sure that I was able to, to um, rise to the, to the um, bar. My final question, how, how was the COVID years? The COVID years? <laughs> Those were interesting years. Um, oftentimes you hear, you hear students saying they were asleep during classes. Now that I finished that time, I can now say I was asleep during some of the classes. But I made sure that the classes I slept through, I made sure I caught back up with what I missed out. Um, even, like I said, asking the teachers for help where I needed help. But yeah, it also allowed us to be more creative with how we study in that I was able to watch more videos using the um, online tools such as Google Whiteboard, I think that's what it's called, et cetera, et cetera. So yeah, it, it was a blessing and a curse at the same time, which I think led to the result that I got.